In this video, we will be discussing wireless communication and one type of wireless media, the terrestrial microwave. Wireless media transmit data using electromagnetic waves. All wireless media work with the simple law of physics. When an electron moves in a cable, an electromagnetic wave is going to be created around the cable which can propagate through the air with proper antennas. Electromagnetic waves include radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays, which collectively form the electromagnetic spectrum. So all these waves share the same basic but differing frequencies. This picture displays the electromagnetic spectrum, which is administered by the Federal Communication Commission, FCC. The FCC is the oversight body of wireless media that assigns unused ranges of frequencies to new applications. For example, in the range of kilo and megahertz, waves like radio waves, AM and FM waves work, but in higher frequencies, X-ray and gamma rays operate. Due to the high frequency of waves like X-ray, which can cause health issues, they are only used for certain medical applications, like X-ray photography. Terrestrial microwave system transmit tightly focused beam of radio signals from one ground-based microwave antenna to another. The two most common application areas of the terrestrial microwave are telephone communications and business interconnection. For example, businesses can place antennas on top of tall buildings or high hills every 15 to 30 miles to connect corporate buildings. It also offers a high data rate of around gigabytes. Microwave has some drawbacks as well. First, it travels in a straight line and therefore it does not follow the curvature of the earth. The other drawback associated with microwave is that it does not pass through solid objects and any changes in weather patterns such as rain or fog can attenuate microwave signals. These issues limit their transmission distance. As microwave travels in straight lines, antennas have to be aligned and each antenna must be inside of the next. In addition to these limitations, its cost is relatively high, which makes it affordable for only corporates and telecommunication companies. This picture displays a microwave tower. 